Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CAR Entertainment. I'm Dylan Hamilton, your host, and today guys we're going to be talking about AS1 Business Studies. This time we're going to talk about investment planning, and very similarly to last time out when we talked about innovation, this is going to be a very short video, might not even be as long. It was only about three minutes of innovation video, but this could be shorter. It's a very short topic, investment planning, but it's an incredibly important one. It can be a big mark question. So let's get straight into it and see what the fuss is about then. So investment. So it can also be known as people investment. Uh, people Investment Planning, PIP, can also be known as that. So basically, investment, let's just start off with that. So it is investment is nothing but using money to make more money. It involves a sacrifice of something now for prospects of getting something in the future. And essentially, it's very easy. You basically, you invest a thousand pounds in, you may get ten thousands out in the end of the stock market. It's probably the best um, way to explain that. So to part money, investors will need compensation for the time period for which the money is parted with, the expected raise rate of peace rate and inflation, and the uncertainty of payments in the future. So investors will weigh up those things. Now, the benefits of investing in employees. This is one here that's very important. So investment planning is an important part of overall financial planning, but you have to have employee investment. You have to invest in your employees. And the benefit of this is that you can help find great employees by investing in training, which helps keep the best employees, but it also brings aboard new great people by presenting benefits the competition doesn't. So if, if, if you continually train your employees, the ones that get through the training are the good ones. You, you're going to keep them. And it also thinks, oh my goodness, right, that, these people are going to train me to do this, to do that. That's going to be for me as an individual, and that's going to be really beneficial. And you'll get better uh, people for, for your recruitment. Um, They'll also see if you have a chance to grow, then the company will expect you to participate. So if they see you as an individual, if they know your potential, they'll expect you to participate. So that's a benefit. Uh, they'll be able to push you to your uh, potential, which will increase efficiency, and etc. Um, they can also help promote work from within, as promoting internally is easier when training employees, and employee development prepares the best for promotions building the future for the company. This basically essentially means that internal recruitment is going to be a lot easier, Train employees will be a lot easier, and employee development will prepare people for the future. So, for example, 10 years' time, you may not have the same manager, it might be someone different, but that internal promotion is going to be a lot easier because you know that person from training them within the company, and uh, etc. Now, sticking on the training route, continue training your, your employee as investing in them, and this is beneficial because it allows them to keep up with the industry trends, and the employees will learn and integrate new technologies constantly. It also will incre in increase engagement and productivity, investing in your employees. But there are drawbacks. There's just two. Um, the drawbacks are is that if you train your staff and then they leave, you've just wasted money and resources, and then you'll have a worse cash flow. And if you train the wrong staff for the wrong job, you'll also have these money and resources wasted as they won't be able to do the job properly. So you need to be careful of who you're actually training for what. I've been Dylan from C Entertainment. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.